The Dinosaur Debate, Truth Beneath the Bones. Dinosaurs, the ancient giants of Earth, inspire wonder, curiosity, and awe. From their larger-than-life models in museums to their depictions in films and books, they dominate our imagination. But a controversial question lingers at the edge of mainstream discourse. What if dinosaurs never existed? Could it be that these so-called ancient creatures are nothing more than an elaborate hoax? This claim, made by a small but vocal group, suggests that dinosaur fossils are fabricated and that the narrative of dinosaurs is a grand deception. In this documentary, we journey deep into the heart of this debate. We'll explore the science behind dinosaur discoveries, confront the voices of skepticism, and uncover the cultural forces driving beliefs and conspiracies. This isn't just a question of fossils. It's a journey into how we perceive truth and history itself. Dinosaurs are more than historical artifacts. They're cultural icons. The first dramatic breakthroughs in dinosaur discovery stemmed from the 19th century Bone Wars, a bitter rivalry between paleontologists Edward Drinker Cope and Othniel Charles Marsh. Their discoveries revealed not just ancient creatures, but a vast pre-human world that reshaped our understanding of Earth's history. Since then, dinosaurs have become symbols of nature's power and mystery. Museum halls echo with the whispers of their legacy, and movies like Jurassic Park have cemented them in our popular culture. These creatures enthrall us because they are both real and fantastical, a window to a time long before us. But where there is awe, there is also skepticism. For some, the story feels too fantastical, sparking questions about its legitimacy. Could this fascination with dinosaurs blind us to the possibility of a constructed narrative? Let's move deeper. How do we know dinosaurs existed? Most people would point to bones, those colossal fossils displayed in museums around the world. But where do these fossils come from? And how do scientists prove their authenticity? Fossil excavation is a meticulous and rigorous process. Layers of sedimentary rock, sometimes dating back millions of years, are slowly peeled back to reveal pieces of the past. These bones are not whole when they are unearthed. They are often fragments that must be studied, dated, and painstakingly reconstructed. Scientists use techniques like radiometric dating to determine the age of fossils, grounding their work in tangible evidence and repeatable methods. But for some, this complexity raises red flags. Can these layers of scientific processes be trusted, or are they a smokescreen for something less honest? Enter the conspiracy. Among the vast digital landscapes of the internet, an unusual idea has taken root. Dinosaurs never existed. Proponents of this theory argue that dinosaur fossils are fabrications, created to uphold a false narrative crafted by scientists, museums, and even governments. According to them, these creations serve dubious purposes, financial gain, control over the masses, or deception on a global scale. If this seems surreal, consider the arguments they present. Why have so few complete dinosaur skeletons been found? Why do fossil discoveries often seem to happen near major institutions or funded excavations? And why, they ask, should we trust institutions that have historically been fallible? Belief in the fossil hoax theory has its roots in both misinformation and historical errors. Take, for example, the infamous case of the Piltdown Man in the early 1900s, a fabricated missing link in human evolution made from human and orangutan bones. Though debunked eventually, it damaged trust in paleontology for years. Mistakes like these fuel skepticism. But for conspiracy theorists, these are not isolated incidents. They are proof of a larger pattern. To them, 
the idea that dinosaurs might be fabricated is not as outlandish as it first seems. Interviewing believers of this theory offers insight into their mindset. For some, it's a misunderstanding of science. For others, a reaction to mistrust in institutions. Belief in conspiracy theories often stems from a deeper psychological need to question authority and resist mainstream consensus. Paleontologists have heard the accusations and their response is clear. The fossil record is no hoax. These experts highlight the enormous scientific effort it takes to study fossils. Identifying a dinosaur fossil involves expertise in anatomy, geology, and even chemistry. The odds of fabricating massive fossils with consistent biological detail and global distribution are astronomical. Furthermore, abundant evidence for dinosaurs exists beyond bones. Fossilized dinosaur footprints, nests, and even preserved skin impressions tell stories of these creatures' lives. Paleontologist Dr. Julia Kendall explains, we see patterns across continents, across species. You can't fake that level of cohesion. Nature leaves clues only time can write. Why do some reject dinosaurs despite overwhelming evidence? Here, we step into the larger realm of conspiracy theories. Skepticism often arises from a mistrust in authority. Historical missteps by scientific institutions or governments fuel the idea that nothing is as it seems. The internet amplifies these doubts, providing echo chambers where fringe ideas thrive. Dr. Samuel Gray, a historian of science, notes conspiracy theories are as much about culture as they are about facts. They reflect what people feel about power, knowledge, and who they trust. Belief in a fossil hoax may symbolize deeper concerns about truth and transparency in a complex world. The idea that dinosaurs never existed may seem benign, even humorous to most, but its implications are profound. Rejecting dinosaur evidence is part of a larger wave of anti-scientific sentiment. Flat Earth theories, climate change denial, and vaccination resistance share similar roots, a resistance to established expert narratives. This rejection has consequences. Trust in science underpins progress, education, and our understanding of the world. Undermining this trust erodes the foundation upon which disciplines like paleontology are built. Can this gap between science and skepticism be bridged? Perhaps. Efforts to teach critical thinking skills, how to analyze evidence and question sources, are key. Museums, schools and documentaries play a vital role in making science accessible and transparent. Communication matters too. By addressing skepticism with empathy rather than ridicule, scientists can engage more effectively with doubting audiences. The goal is not just to win debates, but to inspire curiosity and open dialogue. Dinosaurs, if nothing else, remind us of the immensity of Earth's story. Studying their fossils connects us to a time far beyond our own, a humbling reminder of nature's power and resilience. But this debate raises questions beyond prehistoric creatures. Why do we believe what we believe? And how do trust, evidence, and curiosity shape our understanding of the past? As we explore these questions, one thing is clear. The search for truth, like the search for fossils, is both a challenge and a responsibility.